Hello from Wisdom in Words, your lighthouse in a world that is often dark. Today we went on a trip to find gems and opportunities that haven't been explored yet. We fell into the rough waters of our relationship with money along the way. Have you ever felt like every dollar you made was just slipping through your fingers like sand? It's an old story about a lack of something that has affected millions of people around the world. But what if I told you there was a way out of this never-ending cycle? A way to get rich that depended less on luck or wealth, and more on your own mental strength. The study being done today looks into the ancient wisdom of Zen Buddhism, which has a lot to say about plenty and wealth. But this isn't just an academic exercise. It's a trip that will change us, and it starts with the choice to change how we think about money. Please take a moment to think about how you deal with money before we go on. What emotions come to mind when you think about your money situation? Would you say it's acceptance, fear, worry, or anger? The fear that you'll never be able to get out of your sticky financial situation. Always keep in mind that you are not by yourself. Many people have been on this road before you, and each of them overcame their own unique problems and obstacles. However, Zen Buddhism shows us the following truth. The real measure of wealth is not how much money you have or the things you buy, but how rich your inner life is and how well you connect to the present moment. When you have an attitude of plenty and gratitude, you can enter a world full of endless possibilities, where wealth flows easily and chances are plentiful. So how can we begin to have this rich mindset? How can we break free from the limits of lack and live a happy, successful life? In today's video, we'll look at a simple but profound change in point of view that is the key to the answer. But before we leave, I want to tell you that this trip isn't just about getting rich and getting things. You can regain your power, discover your real worth, and align yourself with the infinite wealth of the universe. You need to understand that you deserve all the good things in life and that the only limits we have are the ones we put on ourselves. So, are you ready to start this journey of self-reflection and change? Are you ready to let go of the ideas that have been holding you back for too long and having your full potential? In that case, I warmly invite you to join me on a trip into the mysteries of Zen abundance. Together, we can find the key to a brighter and wealthier future. Your wallet might not feel very full right now, but if you have the right mindset and follow some Zen knowledge, it will soon be overflowing with cash. Having a rich mindset starts with saying thank you. Zen teachings tell us to be happy in the present moment, no matter what is going on in our lives. By practicing thanks, we can make it easier to receive more good things and spiritual energy. If you take the time every day to notice all the things that are abundant around you, your view will change in a big way. Many spiritual groups stress the importance of giving without expecting anything in return as an important practice that goes along with being grateful. Generosity is more than just giving money. It means becoming generous in all of our relationships, whether it's by giving our time for free, sharing what we know, or doing random acts of kindness. Doing good things adds to a stream of good feelings that follow us through life and often come back to us in unexpected ways. One of the most important ideas in Zen Buddhism is non-attachment, which means letting go of our attachment to success and enjoying the present moment fully. What needs to happen is letting go of the fear of failing or losing. It's not about giving up goals or aims. Learning to have a non-attachment mindset can help us become financially successful by letting us take calculated chances and see what's possible without being stopped by fear. To put it simply, acceptance, kindness, and gratitude are attitudes that can help you get ahead financially. A lot of good things can come into our lives because of these ideas. They change how we deal with money and let more riches come in. As we go over practical ways to use this attitude, we'll look at doable ways to promote prosperity and easily draw wealth. It's time to talk about some real ways to make a lot of money now that we've covered the basics of a wealth mindset. 
By following these easy rules, you can create a healthy energy field that attracts wealth into your life. First, make clear goals for your money. Setting clear goals is the first thing you need to do to draw wealth. Take a moment to think about your money goals. Keep a small piece of paper with your savings goals with you at all times. Write them down when you want to save more, pay off debt, or save for a big buy. This routine will serve as a constant reminder to stay motivated as you work toward your goals. When you open your wallet, it will remind you of your goals, which will make you more receptive to offers that fit your needs. Two, carry a lucky charm with you at all times. From a Zen Buddhist point of view, some symbols are said to bring good energy. One such thing is fool's gold, also known as pyrite. With a small piece of pyrite, you can bring in money and keep away bad energy. Keep it in your wallet with other good charms. Carrying a coin with a square hole is a traditional way for Chinese people to wish you luck. You should choose a symbol that has a lot of value for you. 3. Use activities for visualizing and affirming things. Visualizing yourself making money is a great way to get there. Think about having money in your wallet every time you open it. Picture yourself achieving your financial goals and enjoying the fruits of your hard work. Visualization and affirmations both work together to make you feel better. Affirmations like, my wallet is a magnet for abundance, or I naturally attract wealth should be said over and over again. By using these short mantras, you can change the way your mind works so that you focus on attracting wealth. Fourth, make sure your wallet stays in order. A wallet that isn't in order could mean that your mind isn't organized. Keeping your money in order will help the flow of energy stay steady. Get rid of old papers, credit cards that have expired, and other things that you don't need. Having your wallet organized well helps you see things more clearly and opens up new opportunities. Keeping your wallet clean also shows that you value your money, which can help you handle it better. 5. Get better at being kind and thankful. Being generous creates a flow of good energy that can bring in money. If you give someone something of value, like money, time, or information, they will do the same for you. Small acts of kindness can make a big difference. You don't have to give a lot of money to do this. In addition to giving, teach people to be grateful every day. Take a moment to think about all the things you're grateful for. By using this easy trick, you can change your mindset from one of lack to one of plenty and draw more money. You can make your wallet a source of wealth by discovering all of its uses. Keep in mind that the key to getting rich is to be completely dedicated and have a positive attitude on life. In the sections that follow, I'll show you a set of routines that will help you bring more money into your life. Rituals are strong tools that help you stay focused on your goals and manage the flow of energy. The traditions behind these practices come from Zen Buddhism and help people become more aware and clear-headed. If you want to improve your earnings and bring wealth into every part of your life, start doing these things. People believe that the parrot ceremony, which is also called the Golden Beacon Ritual, keeps bad energy away and brings good luck. This spell only needs a small piece of pyrite and some paper. Writing down your main financial goal and the exact amount of money you want to attract will help you. Put the broken piece of pyrite and the folded piece of paper in your wallet. If you make this simple but useful habit, you'll be reminded of your financial goals every time you open your wallet. Next, learn how to make cinnamon elixir to use the old power of this spice, which has been linked to good luck and wealth. Use a marker to write your cash goal on a cinnamon stick. Keep the cinnamon stick in your wallet and make sure it stays whole. It should still smell great. If you take this scented essence with you, it will help you reach your financial goals by creating a good energy flow. Next is the red ribbon celebration, which uses the color red, which is often seen as a sign of luck and plenty. The never-ending flow of luck and energy is shown by the bow you make with a red ribbon. 
The red ribbon in your wallet will help you stay on track with your buying goals and bring more money into your life. Lastly, take part in the Appreciation Gem Routine, which is a celebration of being rich and grateful. You can pick a small gem or stone that speaks to you and makes you feel grateful. As you hold the stone in your hand, think about the good things that will happen in your finances. Next, put the stone in your wallet so that you can carry this good energy with you all the time. By doing this, you'll create a mindset of constant abundance and bring in more money. Accept these actions as holy and on purpose and watch how the world rewards you with many gifts. The point of these things is to get your money moving again and change the way you think about wealth. They're easy to fit into your daily routine. By using these tactics, you will actively bring wealth into your life and reach your financial goals. In today's lesson, we learned that the first step to getting rich is to change the way you think about things. Having enough money means being financially stable, being grateful, and being okay with giving. It's not just about how much money you have. It's also about how you live and how you act every day. This talk goes over a lot of topics, from making clear financial goals to simple routines that can be done with things like cinnamon, fool's gold, and red ribbons. You can now invite plenty of good things into your life with these priceless tools. Remember that you need to be persistent and dedicated to succeed. Stay committed to plenty, show that you are grateful all the time, and be ready to help others. When you do these things, good energy flows to you and brings you money. Before we leave, I want to leave you with one last thought. Real wealth is more than just having money. It's living a full and healthy life. When you think in terms of wealth, you can see opportunities everywhere. Keep an open mind to new ideas and trust your path. Thank you for going on this trip with me. If you think this content helps you attract wealth and grow your knowledge, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also, please let me know which ritual from today's lesson spoke to you the most. Which workout are you going to start with? Put your thoughts in the space below for comments. Let's work together to make a community that values happiness and plenty. You deserve to be wealthy, and I'm sure that these ceremonies and tips will help you start attracting it and improving your financial situation. Putting an object in your wallet to ensure a steady flow of money may seem like a crazy idea, but people from many cultures and spiritual traditions have been doing this for hundreds of years. Practitioners of this method believe that physical things can hold energetic vibrations that match the frequency of wealth, bringing more wealth into your life. A green adventure in diamond is one of the things that is most often used for this. There are many people who think that green adventure is a lucky stone that will bring them good luck and plenty. Its bright green color stands for growth, wealth, and health, which makes it a great tool for attracting money and success. Putting a small tumbled stone or crystal in your wallet or bag is all it takes to use the power of green aventurin to bring in money. As you go about your day, picture your wallet filling up with cash. Visualize that you are effortlessly bringing wealth and plenty into your life. Do not give up on the idea that the green aventurin is amplifying your goals and bringing you wealth. A good charm or talisman is another thing that many people keep in their wallet to bring them money. There are many kinds of these, from a four-leaf clover to a small figurine of a goddess of wealth, like the Hindu goddess Lakshmi or the Chinese god of fortune. The important thing is to pick an object that speaks to you directly and makes you think of wealth and abundance. You can put your lucky charm in your wallet or purse after choosing it and putting your wishes for money into it. Imagine that your pocket is full of cash, that you easily reach your financial goals, and that you are grateful for the money that is already on its way to you. By giving your lucky charm good energy and purpose, you make it a powerful tool for making money appear and bringing more of it into your life. Besides lucky charms and green aventurin, there are other things you can put in your bag to make it more effective at attracting money. Some of these are a small piece of citrine, 
a gem that is thought to bring wealth and abundance, or a piece of pyrite, which is also called fool's gold, and is thought to bring wealth and good luck. If you want to be more successful with money, you can write statements or money mantras on a piece of paper and carry them with you. Affirmations include, I am a magnet for money and prosperity. I am open to receiving abundance in all areas of my life, and I am worthy of wealth and success. If you carry these affirmations with you and say them often, you can change the frequency of your subconscious mind to match the frequency of abundance and bring more money into your life. Besides affirmations and physical items, there are a number of other useful things you can do to make your wallet more money attracting. For example, keeping things clean and organized can make room for wealth to come into your life. Take out of your wallet any old receipts, expired credit cards, or other things you don't need. Only take what you really need. Using Feng Shui can also help you get more money by improving the flow of energy in your wallet. According to Feng Shui, the back left corner of your pocket is the wealth corner. Putting an item that represents wealth in this corner can help you get more money. This could be a good charm, a green crystal, or a piece of paper with a money mantra written on it. Visualization is a strong way to bring about your goals, including getting rich. Every day, take a moment to picture yourself living the life of your dreams, full of money, chances, and happiness. Imagine living the life you want, whether that's traveling the world, running a successful business, or living in your dream house. Visualizing yourself living the life you want sends a clear message to the world that you are ready to receive abundance. Showing thanks is another good way to bring money into your life. Every day, take a moment to recognize and be grateful for the good things in your life, like the money in your bank account, the chances you've been given, and the support of your friends and family. When you think about what you're thankful for, your energy changes from lack to wealth. This makes room for even more good things to come into your life. Affirmations are another strong way to change the way your subconscious mind works and bring money into your life. Here are some positive affirmations about money and abundance. I am a magnet for money. I am worthy of financial abundance, and money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. Say these affirmations to yourself or out loud every day to strengthen your belief that you can attract money and abundance. You can strengthen your money mindset in more ways than one. For example, you can use affirmations and visualization methods. You could put pictures of expensive cars, faraway trips, or stacks of cash on a vision board to help you reach your financial goals and dreams. You should put your vision board somewhere you will see it every day. Now, take a moment to picture yourself reaching your goals and living the life of your dreams. Giving back to others and being generous is another powerful way to bring more wealth into your life. Giving freely and generously tells the world that you believe in abundance and that there is enough for everyone. Giving to charity, giving your time to help others, or just saying or doing something nice for someone else opens the door for even more good things to come into your life. Finally, believe that everything is going to work out for the best and trust the process. Believe that the things you want are on their way to you and be ready to receive them in any way they come. Let go of any doubts, fears, or limited beliefs that might be stopping you. Instead, work on building trust and faith in your ability to bring good things into your life. One strong method is to use hypnosis and meditation to tap into the power of the subconscious mind. You can change deeply ingrained ideas and patterns that might be stopping you from having enough money by getting into your subconscious mind. Meditation and hypnosis can help you reach a deep state of relaxation where you can plant seeds of wealth and success directly in your subconscious mind. Making a money altar or other holy space in your home is another good way to work with the energy of money. Pick a spot where you can put gems, candles and other things that mean something to you that represent wealth and abundance. 
every day spend some time at your money altar to meditate or pray and think about your financial plans and goals. Infuse this place with good energy to make the flow of wealth into your life stronger. Another old practice that can help you bring wealth and happiness into your home and life is Feng Shui. Utilizing the ideas of Feng Shui to arrange your living space can help you create a peaceful place that encourages the flow of good energy and wealth. To get more money, use simple Feng Shui techniques like clearing out your home, fixing any leaks or drips, and putting a wealth corner in the southeast corner of your home. Crystals are powerful tools for bringing wealth and abundance into your life. Some gems like citron, parrot, and green aventurine are very good at bringing in money and making you successful financially. As a reminder of your goal to bring in money and good things, you can put these crystals around your home or take them with you. As you meditate with your crystals, picture yourself surrounded by a bright light that brings you wealth and abundance. Making a prosperity journal or vision book where you can write down your financial goals and wishes is another way to bring money to you. In your book, write as if you've already reached your goals and are thankful for the good things that are coming your way. Reading your journal on a daily basis will help you believe that you can bring wealth and abundance into your life.